Hey guys, Villani here. So I was using 3ds Max these days to export some morphs from from 3ds Max to into Unreal, and I found a, I found a bug in 3ds Max 2017. I found how to to fix it, and I'm gonna show you guys how. This is a cube I did to in order for testing. So it has a skin, the morpher modifier, with this this box as, as one of its shapes. And I'm gonna export it. So as normal, I select my shape, its bones. You don't have to select the, the, the morph target mesh. Go to the 3ds Max button, export, export selected, test. Yes, I want to write. So I'll leave smoothing group zone, tangents be normals, convert the farming dummy to bones. Observe edge orientation. I'll bake animation, the sample all. So if I had controllers, etc., my animation would go okay. And remember to turn on deformations so your skin works and the morphs works too. Now I'm gonna hit OK. I'll reset Max and import that file to show you what will happen. I'll save this. Yes, reset. Now I'm going to import the file. Import, test. You see, animations activated, skin, morphs. Okay. Now, as you can see, if I select my cube, there's no morpher in it. So, it wouldn't be a bug in Unreal. It's a bug in Max. Max is not exporting the morpher. Why? I'll show you. Let me open the, the test file again. Don't save this. Okay, so I'm here in my file again with the morpher. I found out the solution is to add the skin after the morpher. So what I did here was to skin the mesh and then start making the morph targets. If you already, if you did like, uh, like me, uh, the skin and then the morpher, you probably had a very, have a very complex skin with weights and several bones, etc. How to make the skin after the morpher without losing all your work? It's very simple. Right click here, cut, and paste again. So your skin comes again with the same weights, everything like you did before. I, I assure you of this, I made this with a very complex character. And now if you export, the morph targets will be exported like they should. So here, export, export selected, test. Yes, alright. Everything the same. Just remember to leave the formation skins and morphs activated. Okay, now I'm gonna reset max. Yeah, save. Reset. And import the file again. Import. Test. You see, remember to leave the formation skins and morphs. Okay. Now I have my morpher working. And it will work in Unreal too. Unless Unreal is is with some bug but i'm using 415 preview and it's it's working flawlessly that's it i hope to help anyone who has this problem like i did and see you next time